So Tekken 8, I was just like, I'm not getting my hopes up again because I did for 7 and um, there was that really big gap in between Tekken 6 and Tekken 7. Yeah. I'm just going to wait and see. And I wasn't keeping up with the trailers um, other than um, Kazuya versus Jin. And then when you play it, it is the best Tekken that we've had since like 3 or 5. So what's made it this must play sort of I can't stop playing this game phenomenon for you? Is it literally just the way it plays? Is it like, because I was watching some reviews of it trying mm. to get hyped and they were talking about like the story mode, the arcade modes they've got in there, the online play and it all looks robust. In fact, it reminded me a lot of um, Street Fighter 6's um, yeah. suite. So like, what is it about it? Is it literally just the game feel or is it the package? It's, or honestly, that's, it's both. Like, you've, Yeah, it's a really, really robust package where you do have a really cool cinematic story that doesn't actually have that many fights in it versus the cutscene ratio. I only just started the story last night. I've just been playing online and been playing the arcade mode. Um, so yeah, you have the story side of things. You have the arcade mode where you make like a little chibi, looks like a Pokemon version of yourself. Yeah, like um, an Xbox avatar, I thought. Totally. And then it's like that story is about someone trying to get into Tekken. And so like, <laughs> which is great. It really, really works because the whole thing, and you had this across Street Fighter 6, MK1, Mortal Kombat 1, and then Tekken. You, for whatever reason, there's a wave of people looking to get into fighting games right now. And Tekken 6 um, is, as to Tekken 6, Street Fighter 6, and now Tekken 8 have some of the best onboarding uh, tutorials. In this case, you can save replays and then break it down. And it'll give you annotations and be like, oh, if you did this move here, they would have done this. And this is what this terminology means and everything else. Uh, frame data, whatever. You can go as deep as you want or keep it as casual as you want. There's a whole new control scheme for people coming in mm. um, that um, just gives you a four button control scheme in terms of just hit this button three times and you'll do an auto combo. Oh, auto combos have been in there for a while, but they've done it better here if you're playing that way um, in terms of giving you uh, better access to low attacks, launches, aerial moves. If you just want to look cool for a bit, you can just put that on. And um, at the beginning, until you disable it, it's just on L1 or LB. You just push a button to switch control schemes on the fly. So whenever you're ready, you just go to the proper control scheme. Cool. Phenomenal. Really, really well done. Um, I turn all that stuff off. Obviously, I'm a, I'm a legacy player or a veteran player. Um, but you have that side of it. You have the arcade mode, which is really, really cool with your little chibi self and how cute that is. Um, and you're unlocking parts for your characters and stuff. But the meat of it is just how much they've refined it. Like you, the, the one of these things where you play a fighting game for this long, um, every time you play one, it's like, okay, what moves have they kept in? What cheesy moves have they refined? What animations have been changed? Um, everyone plays better than they ever have before. Someone like Jin, who's like my main, I love Jin, I love Horang. Um, I love the whole roster, to be honest, but I love Jin. Um, they've overhauled him in terms of um, the way you can string lots of moves together. So you b immediately become more comfortable with what chains into what. But an uh, overarching side of it is that you have the rage arts, which is when you're on low enough health, you can do a big move that is like a big finisher thing. It can be a finisher, but it'll also reduce someone's health all the way down to pretty much what you are on. Mm. So you have like this last clinch move to um, to get back out of your just about to be beaten if you can land it. Um, there's a window in there where the opponent can still finish you off if they're quick enough. Um, so you have the rage arts. They were in there in Tekken 7. The cool thing is that they've also added a heat meter in this and you get that once per round where you can flick a heat thing on which means that um, you can then have access to a heat combo, which is like usually like a four, five, six combo thing um, that does a lot of damage. Um, but when you're in the heat state, you also do chip damage, which means you punch through someone's block. Yeah. So um, if you know you, you want to put your heat meter on and just and just go for it when you're in that state, it only lasts for about ten seconds, if that. Um, but it's an excuse to go all out, and you uh, and it's only once per round. So it's like, cool. do you want to do you want to save that for the, the the last fight, or do you want to do that straight away? Do you want to like you know go all out in the beginning or save it? Um, and it's just all that stuff. Um, and there's so much more. Like fighting games are chess games at this point, right? But, yeah. Uh, in terms of rock paper scissors games, rather. Um, but they just nail the whole thing. It just plays so well. I don't know if this is a big change. I don't even know if it is a change mm. coming off the previous games, as I only played Tekken Seven for about half an hour after buying it. What a <laughs> <laughs> waste of money that was even though the game was probably good just got to it too late um i know that they've changed the health to a uh, for lack of a better term this probably isn't the first fighting game to do it but a blood bond system I knew you were gonna say blood bond, yeah, yeah where you can obviously get a little bit of health back if you are aggressive but obviously only a little bit yep. uh, does that change things much or is it just a nice little addition they tell you what they've in terms of health bars they've really sped up um the fights themselves like the amount of damage that a character does um it's been a thing where tekken fans will know what i'm talking about where like the generations of tekken over the years they've leaned more into aerials like aerial combos were always a thing and um, to a point but like Tekken 6 onwards I'm going to go with 6 onwards was when they really started saying hey look if you can get someone up in the air um, that's when you maximise damage yeah. and then it was like different things where different patches would change how much damage you would do in the air some characters had just cheesable moves that would keep you up in there forever and it always felt horrible being stuck in the air <laughs> uh, as it does in every fighting game and, uh, and obviously things like Mortal Kombat give you a button to get out of it Tekken doesn't if you get if you nail a launcher then that's that's your open window right? Um, and so in regards to the health um, you are decimating people 
Like fights last like 15 seconds or something. That's why the heat That's thing. That's crazy. Like, that is crazy. If, if it's too good, if they're really going for it. Like, yeah. I mean, um, you can hang back and everything, but you're very much encouraged to dive in. Um, and it is that really quick back and forth thing of just lots of um, exchanges of highs, lows, different length attacks and different um, modes that you're putting your character into and then triggering a rage art and inverting it at the last minute and things like that. Um, so yeah, in regards to the health, if you, like you said, go on the offensive, you can get some stuff back. To me, it hasn't been reclaiming enough health where it's made that much difference. It's like reassuring to know that coming out of a special move, you've got a little bit more health for the rest of it. Yeah. But I find that the overall amount that they've upped the damage, you're still just, you're just getting wiped out anyway, or you're wiping them really out anyway. Really interesting that. You know, it's an entirely personal thing, I mm. suppose, but when I used to play fighting games more regularly, I loved the games that allowed me to, you know, buff those health bars up so you had like, Four, four screens oh, right, yeah, before yeah. you died. I, I remember playing the old um, Dragon Ball Z Budokai games and you could add like <laughs> 10 layers of your health bar right. so you could have these really long drawn out <laughs> fights. So that's interesting, but you think that pace and the, 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 the speed of those fights like work in the game's favor? It massively does to me. I, I think, uh, yeah, because it's like just one more. Give me one more. Like someone just beat me, I'll go again. Like the, the online multiplayer is like ruthless. Like even if you're going off the um, the casual matches or the unranked stuff, um, which I, this would potentially be a detriment and it's on the game to, um, you know, mediate this based on who you get matched with. But you're like the average level of Tekken players <laughs> online. I mean, it's fighting games online. It's a meme. Yeah. But like um, most people are absolutely ravaging you unless you know most of how to come back yeah. um, and maybe it's always the case with any fighting game roster where there's always that one character or a handful of characters um, that get favoured online because they can do some sort of move that can be spammed um, and nothing like that has emerged just yet in Tekken so even over the weekend um, but there is that side of it where you're venturing online and you're getting into these ruthless fights where you just, it's the same thing that we kind of remember from when you played, probably played fighting games as a kid, mm -hmm. where you're playing against someone who's, oh, just give us a match and I've been playing. I remember um, Pro ZD did a skit on it where it's just sort of, you play one match, you get ab annihilated and then you're just like, well, what was I even supposed to do? Yeah. And Tekken A is very much addressing that what you're supposed to do thing. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love the pace. Like um, the whole presentation, the music is unbelievable. Tekken's always that great music, oh, hasn't dude. it? Oh, dude. Like they got the dude back. Uh, is it Masayoshi Soken? No, that's the guy that did Final Fantasy 16. Uh, the dude's surname is Seino. I forget what the first name is, but the guy that did Tekken 3, mm. um, he's back for like one song in this. And you can tell. Like it's, uh, I was playing it for you a little bit before. I was like, it's yes. such a beat to it. Um, but the whole thing, the whole package, it's just this great, like the best of like Japanese techno, which is like a, the whole thing that I love anyway. Like, give me Sega music, give me Namco music. Um, it's just such a package. And you put the headphones on and like the sound design is just exquisite. Like I cannot sing this thing's praises enough. Like That's I great, do prefer man. it to anything from last year. Really? Like, oh dude, it's already my game of the year. Like, Even better than, I know I keep going back to Street mm. Fighter 6, but that really felt like it set the bar for fighting games going forward. That thing was beloved. Like you said, it introduced mm. all of those new features and helped onboard new fans. Does this, is that, is this going both or is it just like a franchise it's, uh, it's going to be a preference thing. thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think they're right alongside each right, other. Like, cool. this is the new wave of what the new generation of fighting games should feel like. Like, whether you're a newcomer or a veteran, like, they're catering to both sides perfectly. Um, yeah, I think it's a preference thing. I prefer Tekken, like, to Street yeah. Fighter. Um, and it's not splitting hairs. I am more of a Tekken fan, so it, it is that. Um, growing up with both, but it's, it's definitely a Tekken thing. But I just, the feel of it as a package, no part of it feels like it's taking advantage of you. You feel respected as a player. That's and cool. you shouldn't necessarily have to point that out. No. But <laughs> in this industry, like, it's worth saying that. Um, and you're getting so much stuff and they've already said you know they're doing a, a season pass of like four characters or something and Eddie Gordo has already mentioned as one of them um, and so they do have all this seasonal content planned and you, you feel quite catered to yeah. um, and it's just uh, as, a, as a veteran franchise eight installments in to be this strong like stronger than ever like this is a Tekken 5 level thing like 3 and 5 are the top 2 um, and this is way up there immediately you can feel it like it's great I like that you mentioned the online play because mm. part of the reason why I dropped out dropped off fighting games was that pivot to online bouts mm. as someone with a nervous disposition I just found them way too intimidating oh, it's anxiety, way too yeah, yeah, man, <laughs> imposing like, yeah. so I've kind of avoided a lot of fighting games over the past what 10 years you know I've mostly only played Mortal Kombat mm. games and in terms of where I'm at with Tekken I've not owned well I have owned a Tekken because I bought Tekken 7 but I've, <laughs> last time I put some substantial amount of time into a installment was Tekken 4 like right. I didn't play Tekken 5 had a few games of Tekken 6 like I said got Tekken 7 for about half an hour but it was like six years after it released <laughs> I just wanted to play as Negan from The Walking Dead did that and then kind of <laughs> moved on and um, in, the, in the feel of it was even though I hadn't played it in so long was so so familiar. I just went back to Mortal Kombat um, 11 because right. I thought, well, I've played as some of these characters before. I already know the combos that yeah. I'm going to do, even from only playing the game 
previously hammering Tekken 4 and Tekken 3 in, in a bit of Tekken 2. So mm. this being so strong and this having those onboarding features that you mentioned, this is the first time in years where me as a sort of lapsed fan, if you could say mm. that, really feels like I need to play this game. I mm. never felt like I needed to play Tekken 6 or needed to play Tekken 7, but this feels like like Street Fighter 6 and like Mortal Kombat 11, like the franchise is, is, is back. Yeah, man. Well, it's, it, yeah, it's funny you mentioned MK because I feel like Mortal Kombat 1 has like fell off. Yeah. Like the way that game was mon over monetized, the, the skin packs they've sold, the way that they've treated the fans. Like as a huge Mortal Kombat fan, I was just dropped off that game. Like it doesn't, like I said, you don't feel respected as a player. You don't feel catered to in the way that Street Fighter 6 and, Mortal, and uh, Tekken 8 have done. Um, but it's true, like, yeah, as a package, it is just so strong. And for whatever reason, like, I've got various friends that have said, like, I'm going to get back into Tekken. And I'm like, what is it about this game? <laughs> but it's so good that they're capitalizing on it. You mentioned Tekken 4, and I want to throw in the fact that it bring, Tekken 8 brings back Tekken 7's thing, where you can go in the jukebox and just set a previous game's sound design as your overall thing. Incredible. You can also design a, you can customize them. So if you want the menu theme from Tekken Tag, and then, like, the stage from Tekken 4, or the character select screen from Tekken 5, you can do all that stuff. It was in seven, um, but it's just, it's just so good. Hey, I'll actually tell you what got me most interested. <laughs> Tekken Ball's back. Tekken Ball's back. I love Tekken Ball. <laughs> Tekken Ball was so good. Tekken Ball's back. Get Mortal Kombat chess back. Get all of those mini games oh, back just, in these fighting games, and I'll be back on board. Yeah, we keep saying, and no one's ever listened to this, and I've talked to Ed Boom, but I didn't actually <laughs> ask him this thing, but why don't they just do a Mortal Kombat spin-off collection? Put Mortal Kart, or whatever it was called in there, Kart Combat. Come on. I would love it. Yeah, it's, again, it's worth saying, Tekken Ball is just unlocked from the start. That's no DLC price and which they learned from Tekken 7 they were charging for frame data and they charged for Tekken Bowl um, but in this one it's like a strong enough foot forward um, but yeah I cannot sing its praises enough I played it all weekend I literally couldn't get off it like because every time I would th I, I knew I needed to play Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth <laughs> I love that series as well but growing up with that thing too um, but every time I thought about just not playing Tekken I was like but then I wouldn't be playing Tekken yeah. so I'll just keep playing Tekken and then it wasn't until like I don't know 1am last night that I finally started a bit of Infinite Wealth and I was like I'll do some of that but oh my god God, man, like Tekken is back and it never really left because the seasons of Tekken 8, 7, Tekken 7 lasted so long, but this is so, so strong. Like it's, oh dude, it's the best.